So, 56 real estate safety tips that will save your life. I think it's a great title. I think uh, some of these things are... And that was put out by Denver Metro yep. Real Estate Association. That's going to go on the uh, realestateonsunday.com site. Uh, so we'll just go through a few of these things. We have uh, a few more minutes. Uh, try to show properties uh, before it gets dark. Especially Not this time of year, it's getting dark so much earlier. Uh, if people are seriously thinking about investing hundreds of thousands of dollars in home ownership and properties, they're willing to take some time on a lunch hour and on weekends. Limit the amount of personal information you share. We covered that. It says, don't use your full name with middle name or initial. Use your office address or list no address at all. Giving out too much of the wrong information can make you a target. So, uh, touch base. Always let someone know where you are going and when you will be back. Leave the name and phone number of the client you are meeting and schedule a time for your office to call you to check in. You know, it's interesting. As we were talking about this topic this week, Jim, all of a sudden on Facebook was blowing up, you mm -hmm. know, obviously with tremendous condolences to uh, Beverly Carter, her family, her friends, her co-workers. And one of the things that has come out of all of that is there's apps out there now that real estate professionals are looking at to have on their phone that they can just hit in case of an emergency. It, it, it's, it's born these security apps, and, and I know that I've been reading about a lot of them, but security starts at your office, it starts with your peers, it starts with your brokers and managers. There is an, an amazing opportunity to have these discussions. Here's something that I've often done, open houses, you, you're doing a big house, a lot of people came through. I will take the sign down, I will lock it, and I will check not just every room, I will check the closets. I don't know if I've ever looked under beds. I've looked under beds. I'm, I probably have. You probably I mean, have. I think we all have. I probably have <laughs> under beds. But I think I, I Make feel, sure you're aware of I how think, many are I coming think I in. I feel pretty silly doing that. Well, you know what? Silly, if, if silly saves, it's okay. Uh, tell your clients not to show the home their home by themselves. Alert them that not all agents, buyers, and sellers are who they say they are. Predators come in all shapes and sizes. They do. Sturdy doors, obviously. And when you're uh, speaking of doors, when you're going up to a house and you're working the lockbox and whatever mechanics that you have to get the key at the property, it's always best to put yourself between the lockbox and the person that's going to be watching you for that code. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Very important. Yeah, Put yourself could so that nobody your could be watching what you're actually punching in or dialing in on the lockbox. Pick up some self-defense skills. Not a bad idea. Um, you take the wheel when you're driving. I don't know about you, but I, I, I never let consumers or customers get in my car. I just don't do it as a practice. Have you gotten in a stranger's car? I have. And is it wrong? Is, Absolutely. Is, is there safety in that? There's a, a, take your own car. Well, I'll meet you at the property. I'll mm -hmm. follow you. Until you, you follow get to me. Know them. You, until you know them, until you feel comfortable, let's, let's think about this. Here's a good one. Got cell service. So oh, when you're okay. showing commercial property with thick walls or remote locations that might interfere with mobile cell service. These are, these are points in a showing or in your just daily routine where you are less safe than you'd be normally. Right. And what do you do about that? And the one you brought up, uh, flight over fight. Um, you run. You, you, don't, you run. That is, that is the most important advice you can get in that situation. Well, here's something that everyone, whether you're buying, selling, or in, in the business, your trash is another man's treasure. How often do you drive down the street on trash day and you'll see uh, the, the box for the new 80-inch uh, 80, 80 flat screen television? So and as people are cleaning out houses, just before we put them on as open houses or we get ready to show them, you'll often see that the trash will be enormous that week because they're throwing out all their clutter and everything that we so mm -hmm. professionally told them to do. Right. And they're throwing out all their old mail and everything that has identifying information on it. Right. So don't put it out for the trash. And number two, do not leave it out for people to see. So 
when I go in to get a home ready, or I, I, my agents go in to get a home ready, I tell them, take down pictures of family, take down identifying information, take your mail that has all your bank account numbers, your social security numbers, and put it away. Because people will look in closets, and they will look in drawers, and it, there's no need of it to be out anyways. Remove mm -hmm. it and put it away safely. Uh, realtors should agree on an office distress code, a secret word, a phrase uh, that is not commonly used but can be worked into any conversation for cases where you feel that you are in danger. It was a practice I always had and uh, always. Whenever I managed an office, we always now out on the internet they've kind of blown it because it used to be called the red file that's what they said here. did you get me the red it says, file Hi, this is jennifer i'm it's with mr right Henderson there. at the elm street listing could you email me the red file right doesn't you, i think you need to come up with something a little bit more clever but it, it, you need to come file. up with something um, i'm in trouble file whatever it is come up with something as an office for for your practice and if you're alone in the office uh don't let them know that you're alone uh, indicate uh, something like, uh, let me check with my supervisor to see whether she's able to see you now. Uh, there's literally, let's see, 50 something here. Don't dial and drive. Well, that, that's, uh, don't wear expensive jewelry or watches or appear to be carrying large sums of money. Keep it professional. Keep it professional. Alluring and provocative phot photography. And I'm going to put some all these wonderful up. tips there. Oh, be in charge. Uh, have a full battery charge on your phone. And uh, I guess the last one, well, just 56. This is tip 54. People are not who they say they are. Uh, even with the help of caller ID, you can never be too sure who you are speaking to. For example, if someone who claims to know you, gives you a call, and starts to make unusual requests on your behalf, then stop talking. Scammers feed on your reactions in order to compile additional information. Hint, if the caller has no recollection of previous conversations, then they are not who they say they are. I get calls all the time. I just ask them the name of their company. A simple question like that, what do you think happens almost every time? They hang up. They hang up. It's amazing. They hang up. So, uh... Well, I, I certainly hope that this week, this month, as we go forward, that all real estate agents and brokers, owners, managers will take the time to discuss the most important thing in and our and industry. It was, ironically, it was uh, Realtor Safety Month. Safe, safety Month. Uh, NAR traditionally has earmarked September as Realtor Safety Month. And there is a one, if you go onto the NAR website, there's a package that can be downloaded. I believe they also have a slide presentation that you can share in your offices for your sales meetings and refresh and remind sales professionals that there are ways to keep ourselves safe as we practice a profession that is has so much in terms of benefits and opportunity and we can have a lot of fun in our profession, provided we have the groundwork of safety coverage. Well, it was great having you on the show again, Thank Rosemary. You, uh, our condolences and our sympathies to Beverly Carter's family and friends and co-workers. And uh, tune in next week. I have no idea what the uh, topic will be at this point. It will point. be entertaining. It's always entertaining That's today. For sure. We're Thank glad you, you dropped by. and. Um, Jim Lowenstern. And Rosemary Kelleher. And uh, check out realestateonsunday.com for all these uh, safety tips. The links will be there. Thank you.